benvenuti in questo nuovo episodio di SmackDown vs Raw 2006 Ok raga, in questo episodio dovrebbe ritornare il General Manager Teddy Long che è stato investito all'inizio del primo episodio Quindi vediamo cosa succederà Come sapete poi sono riuscito anche a vincere la Royal Rumble E quindi posso andare contro il campione di SmackDown oppure contro quello di Raw Ma questo si vedrà Comunque il gioco è quasi alla fine to be standing in this ring here tonight as the winner of the Royal Rumble. Not only did I prove myself against 29 other superstars, but I also earned the chance to challenge for SmackDown's WWE title, or Raw's World Heavyweight title, in the main event at WrestleMania. That's true, Taz. The Rumble winner has the option of jumping to Raw and facing Triple H for the World Heavyweight title or challenging SmackDown's own WWE Champion, John Cena. So without further ado, let me answer the question on everyone's mind and say that at WrestleMania, I've decided that I'm going to challenge for... The general manager has finally returned to SmackDown. And not a minute too soon. We ain't seen Kilo since he was worn down months ago. You think he's got something on his mind? Hold up a minute, player. Sorry to step on your big announcement, but I've got a couple of announcements of my own. First of all, it's great to be back here on SmackDown. Man, listen to the ovation for Teddy Long. Since I've been in this ring, six months ago, somebody tried to take me out of the picture when they ran me down in the parking lot. Now, I'm sure that after all this time, he thinks he got away with it. But you see, there's something he didn't plan on. See, before I lost consciousness, the last thing I saw was the very face of the man who did it. Finally! We're gonna find out who ran down Teddy Long. And I'm looking at him right now. What? It can't be. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Teddy Long must be delirious. Maybe he checked out of the hospital a little too early. Well, I guess there's no point in denying it anymore. Yeah, I did it. And I don't regret it one bit. You had it coming, Teddy. Without you around to hold me back, I climbed the SmackDown ladder. I got into the Royal Rumble, and I earned the title match that I deserve. Not to mention the respect that goes with it. Winning the Royal Rumble guarantees me a title match at WrestleMania. That means you can't fire me, Teddy. Like it or not, there ain't much you can do about it. I gotta admit it, Blair. There's not a lot I can do. But if you challenge for the WWE title and win it, then there's no getting rid of you. And if you jump the Raw and take on Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, SmackDown loses one of its biggest superstars, whether I like it or not. So it looks like all I can do is to make sure that you never make it to WrestleMania. And by the time I'm done with you, dog, you'll be lucky to make it to no way out. You feel me? Now, since we've got some unfinished business that started in a parking lot, then you're going to take on Eddie Guerrero tonight in a parking lot brawl. Holla, holla, holla. The road to WrestleMania begins tonight. The theater along 
is on a personal crusade to ensure that the number one contender never makes it there. Under the circumstances, I can't say I blame him, Taz. Colpo di sé, da quanto pare. Comunque, dipende tutto dall'inizio, eh. Da come va la storia. E la storia è andata che è stato John Tina a investire il Teddy Long. Oh beh, è andata così. Oh beh, adesso legno è di Guerrero nel parcheggio. <ride> Dico, già l'ho legnato per l'urna di Undertaker. <ride> adesso Teddy Long lo mette contro di me. <ride> Devo dire che per, per Eddie Guerrero non sta andando bene. <ride> Per me Teddy Long l'ha voluto mettere conto di me anche per dare una lezione anche a lui. Perché come vi ricordate, anche Eddie Guerrero ha, come dire, approfittato della situazione, ecco. Così, tra i casi, o lui ho mai ricevuto una lezione. come ti legno boom giunti ne scatenato gente cosa hai fatto cosa hai fatto per un cazzo in, in culo ma beccati questo no l'abito che cosa fa balla di qua è andata male bang e adesso devo provare a scantarlo contro la macchina contro la macchinetta dai è di no, non ce la faccio eh vabbè provo a finirlo adesso con la FU vieti vabbè alto di dai 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 no dai non sono, non sono riuscito a tenere la mossa dannazione anche e poi la resistenza è un po' calata Penso che questo mezzo è abbastanza duro, eh. Dai, Eddie, su. E adesso ti metto in ambulanza e vai all'ospedale. <ride> vai con schieramento. Ah, niente da fare, eh. Uh, ma che ti ho visto. non si è perso di farlo correre vabbè ha lasciato trovare il diavolo che non si viene su prezzo cavolo quanto lo tiene su Bella. E proprio in posizione giusta giusta così io posso beccare da qua. E si riesco. E via! Beccato in pieno. Oh, adesso. Ti schiacciate ancora, va? Anzi no. E proprio devo sbatterlo lo voglio fare con stile. Pronto, Eddy? E uno! Aia. 
comunque due e, e con questo il bet è chiuso Grande vittoria per il Napoli! Mi domanda che cosa mi aspetta adesso? Beh, direi di scoprirlo. Adesso ho vinto il trofeo. Benissimo. Ok, sono contro ZBL, un match con la gabbia. Eh, bello. Eh. Certo, ora che si penso, eh, prima di Eddie Guerrero avevo, avevo affrontato ZBL. Magari va a finire che poi devo battere Undertaker. Beh, beh, spero proprio di no. Veramente spero di no. <ride> ok, TBL, prima ti metto a terra e prima posso fuggire dalla gabbia. Che schiaffone e boom! One of the most dominant and brutal WWE champions in recent memory. Hey, boom. This is right up JBL's alley. It ain't even a match. It's mean, dirty, no holds barred. It's just a straight up hardcore fight. The only way to win this is to get out of the cage any way you can. And as you pointed out last week, JBL, Impala, Spectre, Napoli. We still don't know which title the number one contender has decided to challenge for. He was one step ahead on that one. Man, I don't envy that rest. You know, the last place I'd want to be is between these superstars. You say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. Scusa, le scarpe erano un pochino sporche, quindi ho voluto pulirle. Andiamo subito! No, non ce la fa. Niente, niente. Speravo di farla subito. Mi detta male. sport in the world and you won't find a single athlete that can compare with a WWE superstar. And there's a reason for that task. There are no off seasons here in the WWE. If you're a superstar, you're performing every week of the year. We're not talking about just swinging a bad WWE is the most physical competition you can be part of, hands down. Dai proti. And no. Col cavolo come lo fai? Te lo faccio io piuttosto. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Cole? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even... Oh, jeez, look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with... Well, what a battle that this is with JBL, eh? I have to admit it. It's a really good battle. It's a really good battle. It's a really good battle. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an off-season. They compete hey, every no. week until they're not physically capable of continuing. Oh, cavolo, che he's going to win fans over with that. It ain't about yeah, that's a big He's letting everyone know that he don't give a damn what they think. 
Vabbè, se la prima non va, il secondo va di certo. Man, this match is so good. Oh my god, what an impact! Right off the cage wall! Attaggia un po' l'acciaio. Adesso direi di finirla qui. Ok, me ne posso anche andare. Ciao! Voilà. Vittoria. Chissà cosa succede a Rob. Listen to me, Bischoff. You're the general manager of Raw. You can't let that piece of SmackDown trash come to Raw and challenge for the world heavyweight title at WrestleMania. This is my title. And he hasn't done a damn thing to deserve a match with me. Actually, he has, Triple H. See, he won the Royal Rumble, which guarantees him a title match for either brand's top title. That's a stipulation that comes from the board of directors. I couldn't do anything about it, even if I wanted to. And quite frankly, were he to make the jump to Raw, I think a superstar of his caliber would be a tremendous asset. An asset? An asset? More like an ass clown, if you ask me. Listen, Bischoff, I damn near killed myself winning a number one contenders match last week. And if anyone's getting a World Heavyweight title match at WrestleMania, it's Y2J. Chris, while it's true that you're the current number one contender, you know that the decision of the Rumble winner supersedes that. If he decides to challenge Triple H, I'm afraid I have no choice but to postpone your title opportunity at WrestleMania, number one contender or not. Well, if that's how it's gonna be, then it looks like the cerebral sad sack and I better discourage a certain Rumble winner from coming to Raw. Jericho, you may be a sawed off Oompa but you know what? For once, I agree with you. Let's go. C'è parecchio... parecchio caos per questa cosa che io vada contro Triple H o contro Zorsina Sì, c'è parecchio casino Quindi ragazzi, questo episodio finisce qui e ditemi, secondo voi, contro chi dovrei andare? Triple H o John Cena fatemelo sapere nei commenti ok? ciao